Treasures, anyway, mm -hmm. are coming here. Yeah, and you had been on quite a regular schedule. This must have been pretty painful. Okay, it went impressing. The the callus I'm doing now? Yeah, a little bit. So what have you been up to this summer, besides this new kitten? Um, done a little bit of fishing and I go up to Breezy and rent for three, four days. And, but I leave my boat up north, mm -hmm. it's in a storage unit. I suppose it'd be cheaper just to rent out a fishing guide for what I pay between storage and everything else. Well, it's nice to have your own boat, right? You know, there's just something about going out in the water now with my, my knees are a little bad. Found out I got a crack. We'll hold off on that and come back to it if you decide you want to. So you're headed down to Rochester tomorrow. Tomorrow, to Mayo. Yes, yeah. We've been down. We went down for three days to start with the trains. Okay. Get most of the stuff already. He's supposed to do a sleep study, and then, and then the final when we hear all the results. Okay. On the seventh of July. Okay. Let's go over to the other side, and we'll come back to all that. And. There was a time where I had not been out to the stable for a few weeks. And when I went to the stable the next time, uh, she was in her stall and she heard me coming. And, all right, big chunk. Oof, love that. Okay. Now, when I looked on the computer, it had been 15 months, actually. Really? Or, no, actually, yeah, eight, uh, 16 months since I've seen you. And you said that you were getting pedicures instead? Yeah. I mean, I, I called to uh, make appointments several times, and, and then they said, well, the earliest is a month off. Well, and, and that's... Which, which is good that you're in demand. Right, but at that point, you know, go ahead and make the appointment, or let's, better yet, let's get the 
next appointment on your way out. Typically, what is it, about six weeks? No, no, no. Four what, weeks? That, I'm, that I'm booked out? No, no, it's typically, uh, how often should I get this done? 61 about? days is, So right? about two months? Yeah. That's what insurance will pay. Okay. Now, I do have people who come more frequently, and they just pay for every other one out of pocket. Okay. And typically, what does that cost? $50. Okay. Oh, no, I think we just increased it 60 Sorry. But for long, long clients, they can get it done at 50 <laughs> We'll work something out. I you know. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> for you, you're nice American boy. We, yeah. we do good deal. Good deal. <laughs> But yeah, you know, most people don't need to be here sooner than two months. But um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how you do. seen you now, I don't know, four years, five years? Small bites. And then it usually leaves a pretty big void down there when we're done. So I'm curving around following the nail and then I have to actually curve back in that way to pull this whole big nice chunk out. Look at that. Oof. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. Does this hurt to walk on? Yes. More than it used to. Well, you know, the, it, as things collapse a little bit more in your arch, um, it'll become a little more prominent and a little more prominent. And I'll be here more times than usual. Well, yeah, you know, and there are, sometimes people do have to come a little more frequently because of the callus. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look and maybe shorten the time between visits. Okay. Um, I only live a mile from here. Hmm? I only live a mile from here. Oh, good. Okay. And you the, might get sick of me. <laughs> I would not get sick of you. Not her again. I might not remember that we called you Noah. I'll tell you why. Can I tell you why? Absolutely. It's an interesting name. My parents were musicians. Father played the violin and mother the piano. And my dad's other occupation during the day was a truck that he drove between Duluth and Superior. Mm -hmm. But anyway, when my grandma was there to take care of me when I was just little, and across the front door they had one of those things that spread, you know, like a couch. Like fence. a little gate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of an open thing. Well, bring bring the toe caps with you next time because I'm, will. I'm really not sure what it is that... I will. I'll show up okay. here. I don't really like them. I don't. Okay. But they said I have to wear them. Okay. You got, I got to wear them because, you know, it's part of the garment thing. You know, I have to do it. Because when I didn't do it, my toes swelled way up. Oh, I see. So what they do is they put compression down here yeah, so that yeah. when the wraps start here, yeah. it doesn't push everything yeah, out. Yeah. Gotcha. I still don't know what they look like. I've never seen them. And so. next time I come, I'm going to yeah. show you. And but yeah, when I don't have my toes really swollen up, I'm telling you. Okay. That's discouraging though when you were doing so it well. Is, it, yeah. 
Small well, intestine. Who ever heard of that? I have. <laughs> I mean, all of these things are things, I mean, and sometimes no that's a surgical emergency. It was. Oh, okay. It was. In fact, my daughters were coming to Minnesota. One is in New York and one's in Colorado for their grandmother's funeral up north. And I had worked, I worked next door at Fire. Well, yeah, you know that. And... And um, I had been at work the day before, mm -hmm. and when she got there, and I don't remember this, and I can tell you why in a second, um, I was in a lot of pain and throwing up, so she took me to West Health and did some, I guess, an MRI and found this twisted intestine that was already, st does this... This is just a picture, right? No, it's also doing the sound, but nobody knows who you are. Oh, I want to stop talking. So that's fine. I'll take oh. out any identifying information. No, <laughs> but plus you don't need to hear what I'm saying. Oh. But anyway, then they found the problem and took me to Abbott in an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that was a huge surprise. So you had surgery that day? Yes, yeah. yeah. And the reason I don't even remember she coming. And I'll take her name out. Oh, is because um, she said, Mom, they had you on 28 different medications. I ended up being in the ICU for three weeks. Wow. So that was a complete surprise. But then so was the breast cancer 11 years before that. Yeah. So you said. Right tools for the job, yes? What was your profession when you were working? I worked for Honeywell. I was a union rep for them. Did you enjoy? 15 years. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Is that like Teamsters? Or? Yep. Yeah. From 11.45, yeah. Were you at the Honeywell just up the street? Well, all the hospitals, <laughs> they were all over the place. We had 11 different, 11 different plants at one time. In in the state? Yeah. In, in the metro area. In the metro area. In the metro, metro area. area. Metro okay. area that he had That's right, there was one downtown near Abbott. Yeah, that was, that was, was a big one. Hopkins, St. Louis Park, Northeast. Robinsdale, they're all over the okay. place. for him at the right time because he got a pension and uh, it's a good thing. Well, if you work for Honeywell now, I don't think they give anybody a pension. <laughs> they give you $50,000 to retire. Hmm. So these just kind of peel off in chunks. So we just take them off in chunks. Yeah, so we just take these off a little piece at a time. Um, sorry. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out where the nail ends and the skin starts. That's the other reason that we do it in little chunks. I, I couldn't envision what you'd do. I thought maybe you'd have to put them out and remove the nails totally. <laughs> no. And even if we do remove nails, that's done just right here under some local anesthesia. Really? But I think if we can keep you coming in every few months, we can keep you comfortable and keep these from getting quite so thick. Am 
Am I hurting you at all? No, no. So I'm going to take off pretty much whatever is not attached to the skin underneath. So you're not going to have much nail left here, but it will feel so much better. And I'm assuming that you're not entering any foot modeling contests in the near future. Okay. So then we're good. Now the fungus that's in the nails which is pretty much what this is. It will not go into your bloodstream. It will not make you sick. It just lives right in the nail and the skin. So you don't have to worry that it's going to make you sick or anything. Should he be regularly soaking his feet in something? Don't need to. Mm -mm. No, if we were going to treat the fungus that's making these nails thick, we would definitely do it with an oral medication. Oh. but. Um, right now, it sounds like you got bigger fish to fry. Yes, we kind of do. <laughs> yeah, so so you said that um, this has been feeling yes. a little bit better. Yes, okay. yes. What did you think when you saw your video on YouTube? That was pretty cool. I shared it. Uh, to some friends and family. <laughs> they didn't find it as exciting as I do, but... Well, and you can jump on and answer questions for people, too, oh, if, okay. you, if yeah, you want yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. So it's definitely looking better. Now, here's the thing. Once we get a lot of this callus trimmed down and the skin underneath isn't quite so raw, I think there's a possibility that some of this is warped. Oh, interesting. Just by how it looks. Interesting. Can't really tell just yet because of all the callus over the top okay. and the fact that it bleeds pretty easily. Okay. But there's a lot more good pink tissue than there was last time. Yeah, 